Hi, I'm David Harry, and I'm just going to show you really quickly um, the Lynx 7 uh, running on a, a hardwired network connection. And basically all this is, it's a, it's a USB to LAN connector. Um, so obviously this is going to be much, well, if you've, got the, if you've got the bandwidth for your internet, it's going to be way faster than doing it on the Wi-Fi. So what I'm doing here, I'm just showing the fact that uh, I'm definitely on the links. As you can see in the shot, I've got the, sc the screens replicated and we can see straight away there that uh, the links is actually uh, mirroring its output to the television behind it. So what I'm going to do now, just so we can actually see better quality on the on the on the TV and off the screen capture, I'm just going to go to display settings, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to force the the, the picture to stop being on both monitors, and I'll uh, just throw it out to the secondary monitor, and then it should go full screen then and fill well fill the screen. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'll apply that, and then hopefully, hello. Hey, there we go. Okay, so there we are. It's on the back there now. So what I've done now, I'm gonna, I'll have, I've flipped over to the screen, uh, the screen capture. So what we'll do now? Let's just go and launch. Uh, let's let's launch this app, the, uh, one of the Google apps. Okay, so we'll jump in here and we'll go to speedtest.net. Okay. Right, I've just got to go to the beta version because of this isn't the full-blown Chrome here, so I, I, I'm not too sure if it does all the the, 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 the the normal flash interface stuff. Okay, so let's begin test. Yay, there we go. So there we go, over 200 megabit a second. Um, now that's obviously down to my, my internet speed, but at the same time, the unit itself has got to be able to handle that. On the Wi-Fi, the uh, the Link 7 will just normally only pull about 30, 30 megabits on the Wi-Fi, but I'm going to flip it over using this uh, USB to network connection and hardwire it onto the router. As you can see there, it's unbelievable. We've got a 213 megabit download and 12.3 upload. Now I'll just do a quick test of that again. This is just to give, what, what I'll do, I'll maybe just do three quick ones, or this and another one, just so you can see that it averages a certain speed. There you go, over 200 straight away again. Um, I mean, my, my my actual internet is 200 down and 12 up. Um, okay, that's dropped a bit there, uh, 175, but that's still really quick anyway, and especially on such a small device, because it's internal processing, I've got to be able to handle all that as well as obviously the interface from the USB to the NIC as well. So yeah, okay, and then, excuse me, quick last one. There we go. I mean, even the latency there, the ping is like 12 milliseconds, which is really cool, you know, because the, the, this machine is having to, you know, negotiate a lot of stuff internally with the, uh, between, the USB interface and the actual hardware inside the adapter as well. Um, so you know that, that that's a very respectable uh, latency of 12 milliseconds, and you can see there we've done a download of 214, and the upload is over 12 again. Okay, yeah. So there we go. Just a dead quick test, and it's just another one to show you how cool these Link Seven units are. Anyway, call back. I'll be putting more stuff on uh, stuff up from the Link Seven. Uh, mini PCs in general and whatnot, um, and I'll also be having a dedicated channel uh, towards the end of January 2016, and that will be www.minipc.website, and you can always call back here to this YouTube channel as well, or to my uh, my own website, which is davidharry.com. Um, the YouTube channel stores all my stuff on there, so you get everything here anyway. But anything, if there's anything specific to do with mini PC stuff, check the site out towards the end of uh, January. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.